at the bottom of the stairs, I was pushed aside like you would like if somebody was running down. You've got guys that won't go up into the attic on their own. Um, people here in bumps in the night, people walking and also voices. It was a, a dark body and it sort of, there is a difference in the dark, it's even darker. A few of the strange accounts from Dempsey Barracks. In the 1920s, what's now home to the Queen's Dragoon Guards was a camp for six and a half thousand war-displaced children. It's thought some died here and that some may not have quite gone away. Now, members of the Anglo-German Paderborn Paranormal Group are trying to prove that people haven't been imagining things. Our job is to try and capture that on audio, on still cameras, on video, so that we can show that to people to say, this happened. Explaining what it is is a whole different ballgame, and we actually don't claim to know what it is. Today, the investigators are visiting a building in the barracks where there have been most reports of apparent paranormal activity. Tools include infrared cameras and EMF meters that measure electromagnetic fields. When it goes above 0.5, something's causing it, and it's going up to 1.1 just then. Whatever conclusions may be drawn from the readings, some people seem convinced they've experienced something supernatural. Well, I was closing the door, and I looked back at the corridor, and I could see uh, somebody standing in the doorway. Few soldiers will discuss ghosts openly, but privately there are many tales. The most extraordinary, that of a soldier woken in the middle of the night. He re remembers seeing a seven-foot person stood over him at the foot of his bed, and he was just lying there absolutely petrified. All, all that was going through his head was, run, you need to get out of this room. And he just sprinted out of his room, and this has happened to him about three times. And it's also happened to multiple soldiers in the same block. Irrefutable evidence has so far eluded the ghost hunters, except to say that while shooting this story, my fully charged light batteries did rapidly and inexplicably drain. Coincidence? Who can possibly say? Rob Olver, Forces News, Paderborn.